How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Awesome. Awesome. All right. So this is our first conversation after you've started your journey, your body transformation mm-hmm. journey. Just quickly, yep. what was your first goal? What was your initial goal? What led you to to me, to us? Yeah, so the initial goal was to lose around 15 pounds and tone up the body and also improve cardiovascular health. Okay, so to lose 15 pounds of fat, to tone up, yeah. strength to train, build some muscle, mm-hmm. that comes in that kind of category, and then also get yeah. to oh, and, and then your cardiovascular condition, you said you had a, that was one of your goals to improve. Yeah. Okay, so how long have you been on the program? So this is my third week. Third week. So, it's not too long. So it's been, yeah, two and a half weeks. 2.5 weeks. Yeah. Okay, so question for you. Um, so far, within the last two and a half weeks, how many inches have you lost total? So like, um, total, I've lost, uh, I think, 1.25. 1.5. Actually, 1.5, 1. 1. yeah, because there are two. Mm-hmm. Five. And that's total, all over? Yeah. 1.5 inches lost. And where have you lost them? Uh, my waist and my arm. Wait, so like your belly? Uh, where the belly button is. So belly the waist, waist. yeah. Alright, and then where in the arms? Uh, the biceps. Biceps, okay. Yeah. Perfect. I uh, hope I'm using the right term because oh, I, I'm totally referring to this. <laughs> you're totally using the right term. That's that's the yeah, yeah. I know you're referring to the bicep. I totally get it. Yeah. Pretty good. You see, terminology is getting better too. <laughs> yeah, um, I know where the quad is because it hurts all the time. <laughs> I know. I know you can stretch your quad. Yeah. yeah when your quads is tight. So, question for you: um, Where are you tightening up? Like, where have you noticed your body shape up and tighten up? So, I, I think I've seen an overall tightening up um, in the arms and the waist and the legs from the thighs. Just a little bit, slightly. But I, I see something. Okay, so you're tightening up all over and you're starting to see the arms, the waist, the legs yeah. tighten up within the first two and a half weeks already. Yeah. Then 1.5 inches overall down, and those 1.5 inches there in your waist, which is your belly button area. So, yeah, that's, yeah, plus the arms. So together. I said, yeah, the arms okay. totally. Mm-hmm. Okay. Next. Um, has your weight changed at all on the weight scale? Yeah, so it's two pounds up. Two pounds up. You surprised? Yep. <laughs> I'm at 130 now. <laughs> I am surprised. I'm kind of confused. <laughs> having one of those. Yeah. What's going on? Why is my yeah. going up? I didn't sign up for this. True, true. So um, this is confusing. Let me let me sh- share a little bit about why when you when you texted me about your weight and why it's gone up. Okay, so a couple of first things I want to share with everyone. Uh, for it, one is science-based and one is frustration-based so I'm gonna talk about the science-based first science-based is if you're if your body is losing 1.5 inches if you are tightening up in your arms your waist your thighs your hips that means your body is becoming smaller and tighter and that's what you want correct because essentially you tell me you want to become a smaller tighter healthier version of yourself yeah. The entire goal is to lose 15 pounds and confusion is, well, why am I gaining weight? So anytime you get on the weight scale, the weight scale does not discriminate between whether it understands you've got muscle, whether it understands you have fat, whether it understands you had a big glass of water, whether mm-hmm. you had a big carb loaded meal and your body has bloated or retained water, or it does not discriminate whether you've gained muscle tone, Now, you do know that we explained to you that the muscle weighs more than fat. That means, for example, this is a pound of muscle Mm -hmm. and an equal foam has a pound of fat. Now, a pound of of fat and a pound of muscle is a pound. That's fine. But muscle is a lot denser. That means it's a lot smaller. So you're going to look like you're smaller and tighter 
and healthier and sexier and shapelier, but it might not necessarily reflect on the weighing scale because right. a pound is a pound. Because muscle will always weigh more. But the question is, do you want to be a smaller version of yourself, a healthier version of yourself? Or do you just strictly care about that weight scale? Smaller version, healthier, yeah. Not so chubby. <laughs> right. So, now can you tell me, are you still frustrated with the weight scale? Not really. It was like a moment of frustration, not a moment, I would say a day of frustration. And then I kind of like, after I did all the measurements, I was like, okay, I need to calm down. <laughs> okay, good. So the moral of the story is, that a weight scale will never discriminate between what you sh what it sees. Once mm -hmm. again, it could be water, it could be a heavy duty meal, it could be the fact that your hormones and, and your bio, bio hormones is changing, your biology is changing, or it could be that you're simply gaining a little bit more muscle, which is what could yeah. the law be. Because you're mm -hmm. tightening up, that means you're becoming a little bit denser. That means you're becoming a little bit you know, tighter, that means you're not as flimsy, right? Yeah. So a flimsier, smaller, tighter, healthier version, take that any day over a weight scale. Any of day. Of course. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, so now I want I want to educate you on a new term. You and, you and I are going to communicate every two or three weeks when we have our assessment. Mm -hmm. And hashtag inches versus pounds. Okay. <laughs> say, it, say it for me. Hashtag inches versus pound. I'm going to write that on my board. So I look at it every single day. Awesome. And then there's another one. Hashtag muscle versus fat. Yeah. Hashtag muscle versus fat. Awesome. Yay. <laughs> okay. So hopefully this helps with the uh, confusion of the mm -hmm. way. I know that as a society, we've been taught wrong in terms of how to use the weight scale. Um, I, of course, I'm no exception. I never use my weight as a as a measuring factor as I mm -hmm. get healthier or more mature. And you know, over 16 years that I've been a professional coach, I always use metrics like: Am I stronger? Am I fitter? Am I getting leaner but more muscular? Am I feeling good within my own head? Is my mood mm -hmm. better? Is my spirit better? You know, like at the end of the day, your mood has a lot to do with how you feel. Yeah, and how you are treating life. Oh my God. Can you do something <laughs> uh, so smart, please? <laughs> this is okay. Just, just, I mean, put it down a little bit. I'm the one that's supposed to be wise and philosophical. <laughs> I'm a good student. I tell that to Meg all the time. <laughs> you are a good student. Yes. Yeah, so at the end of the day, your mood is how you treat life. And at the end of the day, a little bit of deepness for you. We're all trying to feel good. Yeah. We're all trying to chase that feeling of good. Because if we weren't, then we would never be doing a lot of things we're doing. Right? Exactly. Essentially, yeah. you want to feel good within this body that you have that you yeah. blessed with this 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 body that that houses your soul exactly yeah right so you're building your house yeah right yes for sure it's like the temple oh yeah it's your temple i mean that's what's housing everything that's happening within you even your brain lives in that house yeah mm -hmm. so uh to to conclude on my end hashtag inches versus pounds hashtag Muscle versus fat, yeah. and hashtag live in a great mood daily. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? Yes. Four, three, two, one. Time. Breathing. Breathing. A little bit slower. Go, let's breathe. Four, three, two. You feel it. And where else? Okay. Lower. A 
Okay, ready? Yeah. One more set for the arms. Put your hips back, hips back, chest up, hips back, hips back, hips back, go, 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 go. How many? 17. We're going to do 25. <sighs> All right, five push ups. <sighs> 